Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. And over there, we have John Lewandowski. How are you doing, John? Hey, pretty good. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Um, before we get into today's show, um, I personally, on the personal side, this morning handed the business over to John to start the morning. This is why. Yeah. Me and my wife found out that we are going to have a baby girl on uh, around May 8th. Uh, her name will be Sarah Marie Goodemo. So we're welcoming another family member into the From Milwaukee to Nashville group and uh, more into the hockey community. Um, she'll be welcomed in with open arms. Lots of uh, the girls are happy. <laughs> Until they realize most girls are daddy's girls. <laughs> uh, old school style thinking, but my fault. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, wishful thinking. Right. I should more so say. Um, but in our news for today, we're just going to start off with um, um, uh, Neil Pion got suspended for two games for kneeing defenseman Rasmus Sandlin of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, that is um, part of the uh, uh, issued from the National Hockey League's player Department of Player Safety. Um, under the terms of the collective bargaining agreement, Pionk will forfeit 58 thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars the money goes to the players emergency assistance fund right um downside for pionk <laughs> was uh later in that game he got hurt <laughs> yeah by uh jason spiza spiza is being looked at and will have an in-person hearing um, tomorrow or Tuesday for those of you watching, or could be today for those of you watching, um, that would be um, December 7th. Um, the Toronto Maple Leafs forward is facing discipline for knee, Neil Pyong in the face. Oh, wow. Suspension of at least possible five games. Mm. Uh, Spiza was offered an option for an in-person hearing. This happened around the 524 mark, two minutes after um, Pionk hurt uh, Sandlin. So in that same game. So I could see this as a retaliation type thing. Right. So yeah, probably, me too. He'll probably get two games. And fined <laughs> heavily. Right. Uh, Spees is kind of a veteran. Um, now, the, the problem with the kneeing, supplemental kneeing discipline, kneeing is knee on knee contact. Right. Not knee on face contact. You know, I don't think there's a rule against hitting a, a hockey player with a Kinshasa. <laughs> All right. Uh, for those of you wrestling fans, thank you for getting it. <laughs> or a Randy Orton punt. But of those things, uh, both of those are from the same game uh, as far as that is concerned. Um. Uh, they have uh, the Vancouver Canucks have been very, very busy. Yes, they have. 
uh, Travis Green and Jim Benning are out as they were relieved of their duties, or AKA or fired. Um, uh, Green, who is in his fifth season as coach, is being replaced by Bruce Boudreaux. Benning, who was the general manager, was replaced by Stan Smile, S M Y L. Right. The assistant GM, uh, John Weisbrod, and assistant coach Nolan Bumgardner were also fired. Uh, the uh, Scott Walker, former Nashville Predator and Carolina Hurricane, uh, was named the assistant coach. So kudos to him. Uh, the Canucks yes. search for new personnel in the hockey operations is underway. I have heard several rumors that they are going to hire now most recently fired coach or fired GM from the Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> Bergeron, um, also in in this sense, um, I think that how do I put it? Um. Vancouver started their season eight fifteen and two. Okay, having one of the top prospects or young players in Elias Pettersson, Brock Besser, and Bo Horvat. Right. Um, in their last thirteen in their thirteen games of playing together, the top line. Uh, Elias Pedersen has two goals, two assists. Brock Besser has four assists. And Bo Horvat has two goals, one assist. Um, today, to my recollection, the Canucks are currently winning against the Kings. Brock Besser scoring in the second period on the power play. So who knows? Right. Um, in other news, um, Robin Leonard has declined invitation to play for Sweden in 2022 Olympics. Um, this is not the last one I think we're going to see of this. Right. Um, the goalie is citing mental health being the reason. But as I know, Robin Leonard's Twitter is very active on the forward political movements. As I, I don't like mixing politics into our show. But um, from what I saw that the U.S. had openly spoke out and said that they were boycotting the Olympics. Right. Signing uh, human rights violations by China. Um, I, I, I don't know anything. That's not my world. Right. In, in that lane. That's not my lane, but in my, how do I put it? In my personal opinion, the one thing I do know, when we covered this initially, right, the first thing we said was that a lot of guys are not going to want to go there out of fear of being put in quarantine for three weeks. Right. I also think that that's still a problem. Uh, Peter DeBoer, uh, head coach for Vegas, backs him and says that this is probably what's best for him, be it that his mental health and being locked down, not knowing what's going to happen if you test positive could be too much of a risk for him at this current moment, which is exactly right. the same thing he said. He also hopes people will understand and that he could play in the Olympics in the future. Yeah. Um, Um, 
players that are going for Sweden are Mika Zibanejad, Victor Hedman, and Gabriel Landeskog. The NHL reached an agreement with the International Hockey Federation that they're to participate in the Olympics. Um, they have an opt-out date of... I'm trying to look it up here. I'd imagine it would be soon. I'm looking. Oh, that's a whole different. Um, according to this. January 10th is their okay. opt-out date. They have to opt out by January 10th if the <laughs> NHL chooses to right. do that. All right. And other news, uh, Elaine Vigneault of the uh, Philadelphia Flyers has been relieved of his duty uh, during his three seasons. He was 74, 54, and 19. Um, guided the Philadelphia Flyers to the second round of the playoffs in 2020. Um, the Flyers have not started off great at all, um, having lost eight straight games, 0 6 and 2 in their last 10, including a 7 1 to Tampa. And they uh, played today against Colorado. They lost 7 to 5. And lost 7 to 5. Uh, this team, I believe, is on a firm rebuild. Also have numerous injuries. Ryan Ellis may be out for the year with a knee injury, missing 18 of 19 games so far this season and is week-to-week. -week. Center Kevin Hayes had abdominal surgery September 21st. Will, and has missed the first 12 games of the season, has played four games total. Uh, forward Joel Faraby, defenseman, or he has a shoulder injury. Derek Broussard, forward, has a hip injury. Nate Thompson, who is also a forward, has a shoulder injury, are also sidelined. Um, Claude, uh, Flyers captain Claude Giroux said, I know that our game is not where it's supposed to be. I know we have a lot of injuries. We're missing a lot of key players. But at the end of the day, Last night was a good example that our game wasn't good enough. Getting embarrassed in your own building is not acceptable. All right. Um, uh, interim coach at the current moment is former Minnesota Wild coach who coached them to three playoff appearances, Mike Yo as well as working as an assistant coach and helping the uh, Blues get to, um, he was the coach to start the year. The Blues made it all the way to their cup run. All right. um, he was fired halfway through it, but um, Mike Yo says that it is more X's than O's, that he wants to see a different attitude. We're not going to make big changes. I don't, we, I don't think that that's the right approach for this game tonight, in terms of attitude, they want to bring that and play a full six. Right. Anyway. So one thing going into, with that being said, I guess I, oh, Vancouver scores again. Just a little quick update there. I'm going to take a look at their their game sheet and see how they, okay. you know, you're saying complete game. So you want to look at statistics and find out what happened. All right. right. First off, the first negative I see is the fact that they had 10 penalty minutes and 16 giveaways and were three for uh, one, uh, two for five on the penalty kill. Uh, the Avalanche were three for five on the power play. So off the jump, you're giving the puck away and you're allowing them to beat you on the power play. Right. 
And not only that, Eric Johnson scored a shorthanded goal. So that's just deflating. Mm -hmm. um, coming from a, a standpoint now on the flip side of that coin, you could say the same side for Scott Lawton's shorthanded goal against um, the uh, Avalanche. Also, while I'm here, I might as well give a tip of the cap to... I'm trying to remember how to pronounce your name, sir. Justice Anunin. Anunin. First pro win. Justice, Justin, Justice Anunin. Yeah. He also, in this game, in your first pro win, if I'm reading this correct, uh, yeah, he assisted on Kale McCarr's power play goal and was the primary assist. <laughs> Interesting. Enough as that one is. Yeah. Um, from the real looks of it, um, in that was Martin Jones, who is ever since the um, problems that he had in San Jose after they started rebuilding really hurt his confidence and has not played set well since. Right. Um, so those are some comments coming out of there. Uh, more problems for the Habs. The Montreal Canadiens are having more issues in their health department. Um, the Montreal Canadiens have yet another injury, and Tyler Toffoli will be out several weeks. Um, he was injured in the 4 3 overtime loss against the Nashville Predators. Um, Dominique Darshman um, said that it could be quite long before he returns. Um, also in that, uh, uh, Josh Alexander is injured. Brendan Gallagher is injured. Sammy Niku is in COVID protocol. Carry Price is in player safety protocol. Joel Edmondson, undisclosed injury. Paul Byron, undisclosed injury. Shane Weber, undisclosed injury out for the season. Yeah. Carry Price, part of the next part I was going to do here. Um, has rejoined his teammates um, since now and is recovering from a surgical knee repair surgery. Will not be back before Christmas, um, according to their coach. So there's more missed for them. Forward Laurent Dauphin was called up to replace the following um, injured Anderson. Laurent Dauphin was traded to them uh, Montreal for <laughs> Michael McCarron uh, by the Nashville Predators. Uh, Michael uh, Laurent Dauphin has a ankle injury from practice, so he is now out. Um. I, I mean, at this point, I don't know whether to blame bad luck or bad um, trainers and equipment and safety managers. Because at what point do you look at the, 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 the equipment staff and the trainers? Right because those are the guys that are supposed to be making sure that these players are safe, healthy, and ready to go. Right. If they're not, then there's a problem. Absolutely. 
Mitch Marner is out for two to four weeks with an injury after a collision during practice with Jake Muzzin. So you got injured for two to three weeks with it, your own teammate during practice. Um, in other news, uh, Kevin Kanatman and the uh, uh, for uh, defenseman for the Florida Panthers and uh, forward for the Winnipeg Jets, O'Reilly Nash, both placed on the waivers. Um, uh, in addition, uh, Pontus Aberg clears waivers and is going to play overseas. Um, uh, Kanatman has spent. Uh, over 340, 333 games in the NHL, playing with the likes of the Dallas Stars, Columbus Blue Jackets, Arizona Coyotes, Colorado Avalanche, Panthers, Edmonton. Uh, or, well, he's from Edmonton, sorry. I thought he played for Edmonton. He said the Edmonton native. I just thought Edmonton, and then, oh, <laughs> I was going to just kind of go quickly jump the gun there. Um, he has 27 goals and 50 assists, so not really a stat guy. Uh, Riley Nash, right. 32, is also pointless in over 15 games with the Jets this year. In his first season with the franchise, um, the Alberta native is 63 goals and 109 assists in 583 games. Uh, he has played with Carolina Boston, Columbus, and Winnipeg. <sighs> Obviously. Um, so that's all we have in that department. Um, in other news in that department, we're going to take a look at the league um, transactions and injury list because it, it's, it's kind of getting scarce out there. Yeah. Um, the Nashville Predators today, uh, just as if you guys haven't seen on our page or tomorrow or yesterday for those that haven't watched, um, Matt Luff and Ben Harper have been called up from Milwaukee. Um, uh, the Dallas Stars send Ben Bishop to Texas for a conditioning stint coming off of ACL surgery. Um, like I said, Riley Nash and Kevin Connaught in a wave, Pontus Aberg released from contract. Uh, Yuko Pekka Luka Linen, don't ask me to say that three times fast, has Man. been called up. He has been one of the top goalie prospects across the league for the last two years. Um, for whatever reason, Buffalo used him very sparsely, getting him through the system, um, just kind of pacing him instead of, you know, pulling the trigger quickly. Right. Um, so we'll see where that gets you. Um, and other news. Um, Mason Shaw called up from the wild today. Um, highly likely that that was in regards to the AHL, most likely suspending right. him. Um, which I would not be surprised to still see happen. Right. In the AHL, um, the Griffins, uh, Witowski is suspended for two games. Uh, the Admirals return to our system on Friday against the Iowa Wild. Iowa Wild. So we will see what happens with the Mason Shaw deal. Um, it ought to be interesting to see how that plays itself out um no yeah. further no further um call-ups by the ahl at the current moment for the admirals um and um 
There we go. Um, I'm checking ECHL movement now. Here we go. <laughs> um, Dylan Blue just recalled yesterday by the Admirals, which was never posted. No, I don't remember seeing that. Um, to my recollection, it's not even on the AHL's website. Because I looked yesterday, did not see it. Looking now. Oh, there it is. There we go. Well, there you go. You guys got a hot take from us. Nobody saw that one. Nope. Um, did the Admiral post about it? Uh, taking a look here. Nope. Not on their website. Was this a quiet call up? <laughs> Sounds like it. Um, kind of feels like it, too. Yeah. Um, I am currently looking around. Up. Um, um, oh. No. I would also like to say a happy belated birthday to Jeremy Davies. Um, his birthday was December 4th. Um, also, a congratulations to Joseph LeBate on 50 goals. Uh, that happened also on the 4th. So, sorry, folks, that we are slacking a little. <laughs> oh, or we just missed it. <laughs> we missed it. Um, so, uh, uh, on that, we're going to get back to some news here. Um, most recent injuries for the Ducks are the uh, injuries of Adam Henrique, Ryan Getzlaff, and Mac Comtois. Um uh, Max Jones and Ryan Kessler have been injured since October. Um, for the Arizona Coyotes, Johan Larson, Jay Beagle, and Dimitri Yaskin were injured in the month of November. Um, and Nick Schmaltz, Carter Hutton, and Connor Timmins are out injured. Uh, for Boston, uh, Charlie McAvoy is day-to-day -day with an illness, most likely flu. They say right. not COVID-related. Uh, Jacob Zorbrell and Anthony Anton Belid um, is injured as well, but they're all within a three-day gap. Uh, the Buffalo Sabres have, oh boy, <laughs> um, let's just go here, uh, Robert Hag. Um, Malcolm Subban was injured today, literally, or no, December 3rd. Injured during the game. You got traded there and got injured. Lower body injury. Dustin Tukarski, out. Craig Anderson, out. They have three goalies on IR. Ouch. Wow. Within a month span, from November 5th to December 3rd, they had three goalies injured. Wow. Um, on season starting IR was Johnny Boychuk and Alex Tuck, um, Alexander Andrew Ogilvy, Lucas Ruschuk, 
Drake Kagula and Robert Hag are all out on IR as well. For the Calgary Flames, Tyler Pitlick is day to day with a disclosed injury on December 4th. Brett Ritchie is from uh, November 1st on IR. Lower body injury left the game um, after having a fight with Mark Barvesky. <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't have done that. Uh, Jonas Kinval. By the way, a uh, future reference for any player that watches this, do not fight Mark Borovesky. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's been racking up uh, knockouts all year this year from the looks of it. Yeah. Um, also on IR for the Flames is Tyler Parsons, a young goaltender uh, for the Calgary or for the Carolina Hurricanes. On uh, biggest name on their list is Andre Svechnikov, upper body day to day. Uh, Brett Pesci, Tony D'Angelo, and Jake Gardner also rack out that list in COVID protocol. Uh, Jake Gardner has a back injury. Uh, Brett Pesci and Tony D'Angelo have COVID. Um, the Blackhawks, uh, Jake McCabe is out for personal reasons. Connor Murphy has a concussion. He is day-to-day. -day. Uh, Mackenzie Entwistle has a left ankle injury. Um, Tyler Johnson has a neck, will be out for a while. And Ty Andrew Shaw has a injury as well. Uh, for the Colorado Avalanche, Nemzuk Kadri has a undisclosed injury. Kale McCarr is day to day with a upper body. Bowen Byram, upper body. Darcy Kemper, upper body. Ryan Hartman, IR. JT Copper, IR. Stefan Mateau, IR. Pavel for codes, IR. Columbus, Jonas Corposalo, December 1st, illness, IR. Patrick Laine, strained oblique, IR. Dean Kukin, IR. Nathan Gerby, hip, IR. Dallas Stars, they're on that long list of guys that have a lot of injuries. Uh, Michael Roffle and uh, Radic Fosca, non COVID related illness. Um, also, Dennis Kiranoff, uh, non-COVID related illness. John Klingberg, November 30th, non-COVID related illness. So whatever they got. One, two, three, four guys got. Right. The flu for all I know. I remember the Preds had that flu game a couple of years back where Saros got called up there because the two goalies, uh, it was... Uh, Pekka and for some reason in my head, I want to say Chris Mason. <laughs> His last season with that he played, he played with the Preds. Um, he they were out. Uh, ben Bishop was sent to Texas for a uh, conditioning stint, so he is on his way back. Um, the Detroit Red Wings, who the Nashville Predators play tomorrow. Gustav Lindstrom, uh, day to day with a lower body injury. Danny DeKaiser has COVID, but he is day to day. Um, I'm not sure how I trust that. Um, right. Mitchell Steffens, Troy Steckler, and Jacob Verano, all on IR, as well as Tyler Bertuzzi, who has COVID. Um, Tyler Bertuzzi was one of the players this year who refused to get a COVID vaccination. Right. I'm not against or for pushing, I'm just saying. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Right. The Oilers have that long list that seems to never end. Um, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players. Um, Cody CC day to day COVID protocol, Duncan Keith IR lower body injury or upper body injury, sorry, Slater Coco, a lower body injury, Devin Shore lower body injury, Mike Smith lower body injury, Dylan Holloway in undisclosed injury, um, Josh Archibald, Michael Cardis, eek, scary, myocardius, heart. That's a hard thing. Uh, Alex Stalock, heart. And uh, Oscar Clefbaum, uh, shoulder injury. Um, 
Florida Panthers, you're looking at another laundry list here. Uh, Gustav Forsling, IR. Uh, Anthony DeClaire, IR. Uh, Alexander Barkov, IR. Mason Marchman, IR. Marcus Nugavara, IR. Oli Ulevi, IR. He is working his way back. I've seen him going like this on transactions. So he is yeah. working his way back. Um, and Noel Akari. Um, right now, uh, the LA Kings have uh, Blake Lizotti and Andreas Anthonisiu in COVID protocol. Sean Walker has a torn MCL, ACL. That I remember me and John both commented on that and said that that was very, very scary. Yeah. That was the one where his leg went one, one way and his body went the other. Right. Um, Minnesota Wild, Freddie Gaudreau has primer Admiral Frederick Gaudreau COVID protocol. Uh, Jared Spurgeon, more body injury. That wraps them out. Um, the Montreal Canadiens have uh, Jeff Petrie day-to-day, Sammy Niku, Brendan Gallagher, Josh Anderson, um, Joel Teasdale, Josh Brooks, Joel Edmondson, Paul Byron, Shea Weber are all on IR. Carey Price is day-to-day with a torn meniscus. National Predators have no injuries to report at the time being. The New Jersey Devils, Tice Thompson, Trist- Christian Jaros, Miles Wood, and Corey Crawford, undisclosed. I'm not even gonna get it. I'm not even gonna go into there. Um, New York Islanders, Casey Sezikis, Brock Snelson, and Brian, Ryan Pollock all on IR. Um, Igor Shostorkin, Greg McKegg. The, what a name. Greg McKegg. Uh, and Sammy Bias, uh, all on IR for the Rangers. For the Ottawa Senators, you have Josh Brown, Eric Brunstrom, Shane Pinto, um, Angus Cruikshank, and Colin White all on IR. Um, Joel Farabee for the uh, Flyers is day-to-day. If I remember correctly, he did play today. Nate Thompson, Derek Broussard, Ryan Ellis, Ryan Fitzgerald, Tanner Luchisnik, and Samuel Morin as on IR. For the Penguins, um, Evgeny Malkin and Brian Rust are on IR. Um, for the Sharks, Rudolph Belser, Yohan Godsevich, our day-to-day and Nikolai Zolchinkov is on IR with a torn core muscle. Ow, I've done that before. It does not feel good. The Seattle Kraken have uh, Chris Trigger and uh, Cal Yarncroft, uh undisclosed injury on IR. Uh, Mark Giordano is in COVID protocol. Uh, Jaden Schwartz and Jordan Eberle are day-to-day with lower body injury. St. Louis Blues, you have Jordan Bingington, IR, COVID protocol. Justin Falk, day-to-day, COVID protocol. Tyler Bozak, COVID protocol. Kim Clauston, lower body, upper body injury. David Perron, upper body injury. James Neal, undisclosed injury. Tampa Bay Lightning. Eric Cernak, day-to-day, upper body injury. Braden Point, lower upper body injury. Nikita Kucherov, lower body injury, left the game. Jamel Smith, lower body injury. Brett Seabrook, shoulder and hips. That is a LTIR. He's retired. He's just collecting a paycheck, pretty much. Right. Uh, Radmus Sandheim, uh, day-to-day with a lower body injury. Mitchell Marner, upper uh, undisclosed injury. Um, Peter Morazic, IR groin. Ooh. A fun injury for a goalie groin. Uh, Ian Scott, uh, I believe he's also a goaltender, IR undisclosed injury. Uh, Ilya Mekalov, uh, fractured thumb on IR. Um, for the Vancouver Canucks, Matthew Highmore, Brady Keeper, uh, 
um, Michael Furland and Brandon Sutter all on IR. Brandon Sutter has a illness, but has been on IR since September 20th. Um, like Furland has a concussion. And, uh, uh, those can take weeks to a year. Oh. Yeah, they can. Um, the Vegas Golden Knights on Dece uh, December, on November 10th, uh, <laughs> Alec Martinez facial laceration left game. Nolan Patrick, IR upper body. Um, Blake Bischoff, uh, undisclosed injury. Leighton Alock, uh, undisclosed injury. Jack Eichel, neck. Uh, for the Capitals, it's actually kind of short. We're getting towards the bottom here. Yay! <laughs> um, we got one more after this, and then we're good for the night for you folks. Uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow with the Preds. So, um, the Washington Capitals have Trevor Van Riemsdyk uh, in COVID protocol. Nick Dowd is an illness. Uh, Anthony Mantha has is on IR with a shoulder injury, and Nicholas Backstrom has a hip injury. Uh, Brian Little for the Winnipeg Jets has a perforated eardrum and vertigo. Ooh. Ooh. Fun. Ow. Not fun. Um, I wish all these players speedy recovery. Every yes, single. we do. Um, you know, because we want what's most competitive, the most competitive league we can have. Um, hits, big hits are always fun to watch, but you always pray that the guy is okay. When a guy gets up, you cheer for him. Whether you like him, hate him, doesn't matter. You don't want him hurt. You may not like the player, but the person still has a family. Right. Still, or someone to go home to. Maybe a little doggy. Who knows? <laughs> right. They all have something. Everyone has something, you know, that they go home to. I go home to this. <laughs> right. So, um, also in other news, um, we were going to do in the system, but no changes in our in the system leads to an issue for us because... No statistical changes means no way to do a show. Right. So we apologize for in the system not being done at the current moment. Um, teams are, as uh, Team Canada is preparing for their, um, was that the uh, World Juniors? World Juniors, I think. Um. If you are not busy tomorrow, um, uh, yes, there we go. Champions Hockey League starts tomorrow. Um, in that, uh, tomorrow you have, um, one, two, three, four, four games, and I believe two of them are on NHL Network okay. tomorrow at... Um, the NHL network has Go on. The 
Really. So those of you in Finland can watch on MTV3. Mm -hmm. um, the U.S. and its territories, NHL Network. Not all games are live on, on there, but they are available via the CHL and your cable login provider. As well as the U.S. Um, uh, fan seat had them as well, the uh, staging rounds of the uh, Champions Hockey League. Um, the teams in it, uh, this is where it gets a lot of fun because some of these teams, um, for some of us, we will never see play. Right. Um, you have the Adler, Meinheim, uh, Evie Zug, uh, Frisk Eskar, uh, Hockey Club Don Bass, um, Detesk. Uh, you have, I'm, I'm just going to name some off uh, Red Bull Munich, uh, Red Bull Salzar, uh, Rogel Anthem, uh, Sparta Prague. Uh, yeah. You have. I believe, uh, oh yes, Skalafti AIK. Um, just taking a look here to see something fairly quickly, hopefully. Uh -oh. uh, 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 there it is. Um, just checking something fairly quickly to see if the. Nashville Predators have anyone in this said tournament because as we all know I am one for scouting as much as the next person right um oh, pop-ups gotta love pop-ups they're trying to sell me Amazon Prime I already have that <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, why is it doing that? I don't understand. <sighs> All righty. Um, Okay, so we're going to take a look here and kind of go split screen for a second. Yes, Turco. I wonder if that's the... Team that uh, Parsonin plays for, and it is. Uh, so you saw Parsonin um, is in this tournament. Okay. So uh, you saw Parsonin. <laughs> ah, Lofty AIK. Adam Willsby. So there's another one in there for you. Hockey Club Davos, I believe, is in this. And that would mean Simon Knack is in there as well. Um, uh, but yes, Yuso Parson in place for TPS. Um, they, like, uh, as, as I said, I'm not able to give you guys an in the system this week, but I'm going to do my darndest to give you as much as I can. All right. Um, because we've had two days off and I got bored. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there was plenty of news in the last 48 hours. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, TPS plays. Uh, these guys only play every seven days. So yeah. it, it, it gets a little. Oh, man, that kitchen light's flickering more and more. All righty, let's take a look here. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
No, they didn't make it. Neither did Skolaftia. Who are the ruined dragons? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Um, for those of you, um, let's see, we got anybody else in this that's left? Elite prospects. From the looks of it, no. Okay. Um. So, from the looks of it, that uh, I if you're looking for some hockey to watch during the day tomorrow, um, and on the 14th, and then the seventh, and the I'm trying to get the schedule here. So the 7th and 14th of December, and then the 4th, 5th, 11th, and 12th of January. And then you have a one-game final on March 1st. That's a span and a half. Yeah. That's a way trippy, like... Now I understand how it gets confusing after a while playing in this stuff. Right. Um, um, I'm more confused on you know uh, how all uh, right how you watch the games from from here um so i'm i'm i well i'm here i guess i could take a look and see how how parson did in this because you know if anything if he even played right you know He played three games, had two assists and a minus three. Okay. He will also be playing in the, I think it's the Spangler Cup. Yes, the IIHT Spangler okay. Cup Davos. Um, that will be uh, uh, kicking off within the next twenty days. Um. And that um, the teams involved in that okay. um, are for Lunda Hockey Club, um, Hockey Club Sparta. So a lot of those same ones that were in the last one, um, Hockey Club Davos, um, which, as I said, has um, a young, hungry team um, with right. guys like Simon Neck. Um, we have Team Canada. Um, winning it in 2019. Um, so, 
Um, there's that as well as the so there's plenty of tournaments coming up. Right. Uh, I'm just getting dates for you guys of all this stuff. Uh, yeah. Gotta be a little more specific on that one. <laughs> the World Juniors um, have their event in, well, 19 days. Okay. So they start the day after um, Christmas. Okay. In that day, um, at two in the morning, Russia takes on Sweden. The Preds have four players or two players in that game. All okay. right. So I don't know if I'm going to function that day or not, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do my best. Because to my recollection, we have a hockey game to be at. Or a hockey game to cover. Um, but the uh, juniors is always a great chance to view the future of the game. Yeah. Um, it goes on for... Um, they play the uh, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. And then they play the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And from what I gather and I'm hearing, a lot of the Preds prospects, including general, or a lot of the Preds management will be at this event. Okay. Um, on the basis that it will be the first time they will have a chance to actually meet some of their prospects face to face. Right. Um, now, interesting story here. Um, just announced the coach of the Russian team will be Sergei Zubov. Hmm. Um, uh, with assistant coach uh, Alexander Titanov and Vlamar Filatov. Filatov used to play for the Columbus Blue Jackets way back in the uh, 2000, roughly 6 to 2008, if I remember correctly. Um, just the odd little news info there for you. So trust me, there is a lot coming up. All right. Um, most of us look forward to the kinds of things because it's pride in country and pride in youth um, for me and me in particular. I don't know so much for John. John may go for just country, but me, I look at how our prospects perform because right. this is a semi big <laughs> Stage for them, they are performing in Edmonton, Canada. This you're playing in an NHL arena for your country. It is right. like the equivalent of playing in the Olympics. All eyes are on you, and you're on NHL Network. You're on TSN. You're on these sports networks. I wouldn't be surprised right. if a couple weren't on ESPN. You know, um, I'm just yep. saying it, it, it is a great thing that they have these tournaments. <laughs> And then to cap them all off when you're done with the Olympics, it's just great. Right. You know, and and I'm going to say it as an athlete. Uh, I, I played many sports. It didn't matter what sport I played. I wanted to wear my country's jersey. That is the number one thing on every player's bucket list, to-do right. list, dream list. Beyond playing for your home hometown team is that. But alrighty, folks, we got a game tomorrow. We're it's getting late here. We got to be finished. I gave you everything I got till I crash. So thank you guys for watching. Please remember to check out our sponsor, Hockey Locker.
2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Visit them also on their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. <laughs> Peace out.